Good morning, children. Welcome back to our online classes by Shilpa Patil Miss from Little Scholars Public School. As we have started our fourth chapter, Weather and Climate from Geography, Part Three. In the last session, as we have seen the difference between weather and climate, as weather can change within a few minutes or hours, but the climate takes very long time. to change it cannot be changed very easily today we are going to learn about the elements of weather there are five elements of weather temperature air pressure winds moisture and precipitation first of all temperature the earth's surface gets heat from the sun as a result the surface get heated this way you can see the surface of the earth get heat from the sun and as a result the surface get heated the air close to the surface of the earth starts becoming hot and later one by one different layers of the air at higher elevation receives heat therefore as we move upward from the sea level the temperature of air decreases as we go up from the sea level the temperature of air decreases the temperature also goes on decreasing from the equator this is the equator and this way it decreases towards the both poles this is the north pole and this is the south pole that way by the both poles the temperature can be decreased air pressure air has weight as a result it creates pressure it is called air pressure because it has weight the lower most layers of air get subjected to the pressure of upper layers air has weight and constant in constant motion and is pulled towards earth center by the gravity air pressure is greatest at the earth's surface and decreases with increased altitude if you experience this the inflated balloons evenly that way the weight will be the same but if one also will be flat you can understand the air has weight hence the density of the lower layers of air increases there is a great air pressure near the surface of the earth and it decreases with increasing height this is vertical air pressure these changes also occur in horizontal manner this gives rise to wind that means when we move up it in move up to the height it decreases if we go up it decreases winds air starts moving from high pressure towards low pressure areas in horizontal direction this moving air is called wind we have learned wind in the fifth standard also moving air is called wind wind blows from high to low pressure areas high pressure areas to the low pressure areas and its speed depends on the amount of different difference in air pressure as the air pressure is there the speed also depends on it moisture the atmosphere contains vapor the air has greater amount of vapor is called humid the air ha that has greater amount of vapor is called humid air the humidity in the atmosphere is called moisture means in the humidity if it is there 
that we call the moisture. The proportion of moisture in the atmosphere depends on temperature. Air with higher temperature holds greater amount of moisture. Precipitation vapor in the atmosphere condenses into water droplets or snow particles. Precipitation, a form of water like the rainfall, snowfall, slate or hail form that falls to the earth's surface. Their showering on the earth is called precipitation. That way, rainfall, sleet, hailstorm and snowfall etc. are the forms of precipitation. Weather is described on the basis of conditions prevailing at the given time while climate is described on the basis of conditions prevailing over a long period of time. That means it takes very long period of time. Weather keeps changing frequently in the hours, in the day it can be changed and we can experience the changes very easily. Changes in the climate take place over a long period of time. These are not perceived very easily. Latitudinal position, height above the sea level, nearness to the ocean and oceanic water oceanic currents etc are the factors that influences climate by these these factors influence on climate besides these mountain ranges types of land different types of land local winds are the other factors that influence the climate of a region these factors which can be influenced on the climate of a particular region. Always remember children, the weather at a place keeps changing frequently but the climate does not change that often. The climate is different at different locations within our country India. It is cool at some places and hot at some other places. It may be humid in some areas and dry in others. That way nowadays also we can experience that some of the areas it had rain but some of the areas it is not rain. That way we can understand the changes in the weather. It keeps changing frequently. The Do you know children the climate affects the entire living world in the different ways. Life mostly thrives in the regions which have conducive climate. The climate also influences the diet, shelter, etc. of living things. That way the hilly region people uses woolen clothes very much in the comparison of hot areas people. That way the diet also, the shelter also, the lifestyle also is different in the different region. The distribution of water on the earth is also a controlling factor of the climate. That way the distribution of water means rain also is controlling factor of climate. In the next chapter we shall seek more information about the temperature. Thank you.